Hello, hello, friends. Dapper Drabby here. Welcome to some PTC Geo. Today we are going to go ahead and bust into our pre-release kit and our seven packs of Crimson Invasion because the invasion is here. So let's go ahead. We'll get into our pre-release kit. See what we get. We get the Alolan Raichu. Um, that's not our promo though. What is our promo? We get a Registeel. Uh, what is our promo? Did he not give us a promo? Oh, there it is. Our promo is Registeel here. That's a very cool promo to get. Turbo Arm. Attach a basic energy from your discard pile to your bench Pokemon. Uh, it's a pretty cool promo to get. A lot of people like was that. That one was their favorite one going into it. So, looks like we might end up building a deck real quick with some Registeel Raichu action. Um, and maybe we'll even throw an S Cavalier. Because that can definitely get boosted up by um, Registeel. So let's try to play these ones for sure. Um, what is this? We have Derail, Cacturn. Uh, if you if your point of deck mode already has any damage counters on it, do 60 more damage. That sounds like it would work well with the uh, Gengar, which I was actually kind of hoping to get was the Gengar. So let's go ahead. Uh, we'll hit done for that. We're going to bust into our packs here and see what we can do to add to that deck. Let's see. Silk Valley packs all over the place. A Bunnelby, Dino, Spoink, Carapaz, Alolan Geodude, Geodude, the Meltank, Reverse Foil Magikarp, and our rare is Silk Valley GX, guys. First try. First try. Silk Valley GX. That is awesome. So let's go ahead. We've gotten, we're have busting into another one here. Uh, maybe we can get the Type Null. Maybe we get two Type Nulls. We got a Lusamine. We got Camera Up, which is a reverse foil rare, and our rare is a Xerneas with bright horns. Nice. Let's open up another one. We got five more to go here. A Metal Energy, another Magikarp. Uh, Larian reverse foil rare is a Salazzle with that nasty plot. Like that a lot. And we got an Alolan Marowak with Dances of Flames. Nice. Okay, four more packs to go. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Cubone, Spoink, a counter energy, very nice. And our rare is a Silvalli GX. What? Okay, Silvalli, where's your Type Null? I need Type Null to be able to play Silvalli. I need Type Null. There's three Silvallis now. It is a my loaded with some TLC. All right, two packs left, two packs left. Can we get those Type Nulls? Type Null, Type Null, it is. A Star Raptor, so we will not be playing Sil Valley today. It's just not possible. We don't have any type nulls. There's our memories. There's our memories. And a Crawdon to end it off. But let's go ahead. We'll get into this uh, deck manager now. We'll build a deck real fast. See, I already have a kind of some things plugged in here, so we'll just edit that. This is pretty much standard in most decks. Same with this. Uh, so I figured might as well start with that as the starter and then see what we can add to it. So unfortunately we cannot play any of the GXs we pulled. We can't pull, play our Sil Valleys because we didn't get any, any, um, we didn't get any, uh, Type Nulls, which kind of sucks. We could play my Lodic. We got a copy of that. Shuffle one of your opponent's bench Pokemon that has any damage counters in it and all cards into their deck. That's helping them. That's not helping you. Ocean Cyclone stack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon for a very high attack cost. And Splashing Dodge, Dodging Splashes, the Feebass. Waterfall Evolution Magikarp. Camera Up. Now this is kind of cool because we can evolve this from any Cubone. For each energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, attach a fire energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. You need 70 damage times a coin flip. We got El Selgor, recover an energy from this Pokemon, heal all damage from it. Wow. And then speed attack. Actually, that's pretty good. Speed attack. If I can get more of those. Where's the Shelmet though? Did I not pull any Shelmets? 
doesn't look like it. Alright, so the kit had some Raichu, Pikachu in it. Uh, we should have got the Gengar. We have two Salamnids and a Salazzle. We got a Stuffle, we got a Cubone, Houndour, uh, put that Registeel in there. Probably us Cavalier. We need an attacker. And we got two Sil Valleys. That's craziness. Star Raptor. What do you get at Clutch? Sky Hunting. Huh. If. Ifs, ands, or buts. Um, where's our promo? Let's go ahead and put our Carablast in here. So like all uh, pre-release decks, it's basically what you pull. We'll put a three Carablast, one as Cavalier, two Pikachus, a Raichu, and that should be plenty of Pokemon. But I wanted to play a Lolan Executor. Okay, let's see, what else can we put in this? We have one more Registeel we can put into this. We had to get him from there. What's the old Registeel do from... Oh, it's... It's past due anyways. Forbidden Iron Hammer. So I think 14 Pokemon is plenty. I think any more and we're gonna struggle. Although Moo Moo Milk might be kind of fun. I have two of those. Let's see. I'm trying to think if bodybuilding dumbbells might be a good choice here. It would be if I was playing Sil Valley. That just sucks. I wish I would have pulled Type Null. Because I have the shiny Sil Valley. All I need to do is pull type no. Whoa, is it in a theme deck? Oh, I think it's in a theme deck, guys. Maybe, maybe not. I guess let's check real fast. Alright, 20 energies is far too many. Um, what can we do here? We can throw some acerolas in, try to prevent some knockouts, a couple bodybuilding dumbbells, an escape rope. Uh, let's see. Is there a stadium I could use? Multi-switch. Uh, 13 energy sounds fine. What kind of energies do we want though? I think we want metal for sure. Yeah, I think we're going to do metal energy here. Maybe I'll throw in some DCEs to at least three of them. And then metal energies. There we go. Crimson Invasion pre release. There we go. Career, yeah, that's good. Career. Do we have? We have a metal coin here. Deck box. Let's go with. Metal. And. See, unfortunately, I'm not playing any of these things. I guess Jirachi. Okay, 10 minutes in, we have a deck. 
You can play. I just want to check something in the shop real fast. That I forgot about. It's, uh... Kamo'o and Hydreigon decks. Do they have anything special? No, they come with an Oranguru. That's good. That's good. And a Oranguru. This one comes with a Lull and Raichu. And a Type Gnaw. This one comes with a Type Gnaw. Okay, so... I could buy the Clanging Thunder deck and get a Type Gnaw to be able to play one Silver Valley in this, which might be worth it. What is all this stuff? Collector's Choice? It's probably what I was saving up for was the Collector's Choice. This gives me two more ride shoes. That might be a better deck overall. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it that way. So we're gonna buy this uh, Clanging Thunder theme deck. Go back to our deck manager. I just want to make a better deck than what I was, what I had. So we're gonna clone this. Start and adjust it. We are going to take out the Carablast and the S Cavalier. Be able to play Type Null and Sil Valley. And a couple more ride shoes here. Oh no, I added too many. Um, I still need a stadium to give Raichu free retreat to. And play at least one Sil Valley. So I can throw it in Psychic Memory, a Fighting Memory. I should throw in a couple losing me too. And as long as I get a stadium, I can hit for weakness. I mean I can a free retreat with uh with Raichu. So what's the best stadium for this deck? Probably Yeah, let's go with Mount Lanakila. Put three of those in there. So now I have 67 cards. I gotta get rid of some. So some cards that were extra are dumbbells. Don't need those. Probably Ace of Rollers. They're really good, but they're not necessary. Sophocles and one energy, I think. There we go. Now I like this deck a lot better. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save that. We're going to try this one out on the ladder, I think. The other one just seems like it was a little too weak. Uh, but this one, I think we can. It might actually stand a chance. One is it? Uh, I think it's the one without the grass. 
Yes, this one. One without the grass. So let's go ahead and play and see how this one looks on the ladder. Hopefully we can make this a quick deck. Oh, they have the advantage. They have fairy normal. But that's why we're playing the anti fairy. They get us a war coin. I won. I do want to go first. Okay, so we're starting out with the AP2. Very nice. Now the question is, do we want to bridge it? And bring something. We'll go ahead and put a double colors onto Pikachu. Put a choice band. Uh, I guess we should Ultra Ball. The Metal Energy and the Sycamore. We'll grab a top of Lele. Make sure stuff is there. So top of Lele into Bridget, of course. That's how you start most things. We'll bridge it. We'll go ahead and pull out a Registeel, that type Null, and the question is, an Oranguru or a Pikachu? And I think I'm going to stick with the Oranguru here, so that we have that draw support. I'm going to go ahead and stick Lanakila out there and instruct for DCE and a Lele. Let's go ahead. We can't do anything this turn, so we'll end and let Gardevoir have a chance to set up. Really? That's all you did? Oh my gosh, really? Ah, uh, that's game. That's game. So this deck is quick. I think we just kind of got lucky, but let's go ahead and, and try another game. Maybe we can get another one in real fast. That was kind of interesting, though. So we were able to get set up pretty quickly, which is good. Let's see if we can find another opponent and make a quick game out of this one, too. I'm on a win streak of one. We're not facing Guard of War though, so this one's not going to be as simple. We don't get to see what everybody does, but that talk about like the best draws, like draw Raichu that we needed it. I was going to stick more to try to find the Raichu. No need. Wow, that's a lot of energy in my hand. Another Pikachu start. We are going first again. Wow, a lot of stuff going down. It is a Volcanion deck. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's get the uh, Bridget first. See if we have it. We do have the Bridget. Question is, do we have what we want? We have a Type Gnaw, a Rangaroo, Registeel. That's the three we usually want. And we do have Silvalli in the deck. So, let's go ahead and Bridget. We will get those three and throw down another Pikachu go ahead and throw down an energy we don't have anything else we can play so we'll end our turn there goes our DCE we can Pika draw next turn There's an N that helps us. Considering we have energy and no draw support this next turn. Let's see what that N gives us. A Sophocles, a Psychic Memory, and a Silv Valley. And an Alolan right here. So since we can't do too much, and Pikachu's going down. 
I think we'll go ahead and play out what our hand has for us. We'll play a, a Psychic Memory. We'll play the Pikachu, the Raichu down. We'll go ahead and throw down that Metal Energy. And the question is to Sophocles or N here. Um, I think we're just going to end. See what we can come up with here. I'm going to get more energy. Let's go ahead and put... So what's going on next? How many energy do we have on it? It's a turbo arm we can do next turn, but it is weak. So let's go ahead and throw a choice band down on the Alolan Raichu. And uh, I would evolve this other Pikachu, but I don't think it's going to help us too much. So we're just going to Pika draw, get an extra card. This is a Sophocles. Is there any Pokemon we need right now? We could Ultra Ball next turn or something. Um, but I think we're pretty good right now. We're going to go ahead and Steam Up and probably Guzma here. Oh, they're actually going to end. Okay. That's fine with me. I don't lose anything in that. And just going to refresh my hand to something that I might be able to use next turn. Which is a DCE, a Metal Energy. And we could get the Bridget and the end back with Luzamine if we wanted to. There goes that Pikachu. We're gonna go ahead and put our Sun and Moon promo registry up there. We're gonna throw Metal Energy down so that that can uh, set up the next thing. And actually, I don't think we need to use any supporter this turn. We only have an N and a Bridget down there, and we don't want really either one of them. Now we could Ultra Ball here. Let's see what we want with Ultra Ball. We'll get rid of Lele and a Sycamore. And I think we'll set up another Pikachu here. Now we can play Luzamine and get back that Sycamore and that N. And go ahead and turbo arm to get an energy onto Sil Valley actually. Now, Registeel should go down this next turn. All it's gonna take is I think one steam up. Well no, not just one steam up. So 40 does already, and then the steam up does an extra 60. So the two steam ups, they'll need two for Volcanion to take out Registeel. All I have to do is hit 70. There's a field blower for that psychic memory, I assume. Actually, it's probably for the choice band on the right you. Oh, it is the psychic memory too, okay. Psychic memory didn't really matter in this matchup. Um, it wasn't going to hit anything for weakness. Stone, okay. A Lele for a Guzma, probably. The Euro unit gives every all of our basics uh, no retreat cost. Ooh, it gives them no retreat cost too either. So that kind of sucks. So Mount Kilanakila is literally there for Raichu's ability. That's apparently what I did. Okay. 
So one euro unit or one gyro unit allows everything that's a basic to have free retreat. There's a fighting fury belt trying to make it where I can't knock it out next turn. So now I have to search for a field blower. There's a steam up. And the second one. And the second one, okay. So there goes down the registeel. We get 30 damage on him already, so there's 140 HP left. And we can only hit for 120. There is the Volcanions in the back getting set up so perfectly. Let's go ahead and attach an energy to Sil Valley. Um, guess I could put a float stone on it. Now Rebel I could do for 200 damage. Throw a float stone on Sil Valley. We're gonna go ahead and end, I think. See what we can get. We can get the fighting memory. Which does us no good because we just attached a float stone. Rebel will take this one out. But they'll just move up the next one. And using your GX to take out a non-GX doesn't really bode too well. Okay, let's go ahead and... I think Rebel GX is the right play. Because Turbo Drive does not do enough. And they're set up already. We'll turbo go. Put a metal energy onto the ride chute. Enhanced hammer on my double colorless energy. So we forgot to put a special charge in here. Another fighting three belt on the other one. Just waiting for them to attack now. And I kind of want to finish this up soon, so we'll see what, what can happen here. Um, they're probably going to attack for a bit of damage on Sil Valley. Yeah, come on, dude. Pick your attack. If they uh, end up... Oh, there's a Guzma. Who are they going to take out? Lele? Lolan and Raichu? Okay, that makes sense. That's fine with me. That's one prize instead of two. Now you can attack next turn. And, uh... Throw that down. Go Mount Lanakila down, and uh, definitely don't want to end this turn. Or actually, it doesn't really matter. But I think we have a metal energy down here. We do have a metal energy down here, so we only needed one. We're gonna go ahead and Sophocles the end and the energy here. Four more cards. We'll go ahead and evolve a low and right you. We will field blower, get rid of the float stone, and the fighting fury belt. To take one prize card. And we will go ahead and oof, we left it. If I would have left it, I would have been able to take out this one. We're going to go ahead and turbo storm. Get half the damage done on this Volcanion. And then set up a Lolan Raichu in the back here. Ok, 
kind of crazy. We only have one Steel Valley GX in this deck. An Ultra Ball. I wonder if they know they still have free retreat. Okay, so yeah, it's my basic Pokemon. He has a whopping 4 retreat cost now due to that Mount Lanakila. The Max Elixir onto the Turtonator, probably. Yep. Another Max Elixir onto the Turtonator. And a Float Stone onto the main one so that they can retreat it. Turtonator. Probably going to Shell Trap here. Either Shell Trap or uh, Nitro Tank. They only have one energy in there. Do they have another energy? They're gonna Shell Trap. Okay, Shell Trap 450. Does 80 damage on the next turn. Uh, what can we use here? I want to use a Guzma. I don't have a Guzma. Let's see if I can find one. We are going to Ultra Ball, the Fighting Memory, and the N to find the Lele to find the Guzma. Guzma. Question is, do we want, I think we want the one that is uh, partially damaged already, although I could take out the other one. Let's take out this other one. Use Raichu's ability to retreat, and we are going to go ahead and Rebel GX, taking out this uh, Volcanion and taking two prizes of will at it, which is a Registeel and a Metal Energy. <laughs> Professor Sycamore. Get the Turtonator again. They're gonna probably try to hit us for a bit. Gonna go throw that on the Turtonator too, okay. Probably gonna get another Shell Trap here. Take the 80 damage. Oh no, they're going for the 160, which is just enough to take us out. Unfortunately, we do not have another Registeel set up so that we can uh, start continually turbo something. It. So I need the top deck, a DC and a Guzma, which is just not possible. Another Shell Trap. Okay, that's interesting. They Shell Trapped instead. Oh, we did top deck the Guzma. Wow. Uh, what's in our discard? Do we have a Metal Energy? We have a Metal Energy in the discard pile. Oh man, that is interesting to say the least. We still have our Stadium. We're going to go ahead and Guzma the Raichu here. Retreat it and go ahead and turbo drive this Volcanion. Get that last energy onto Raichu and grab two more prizes here. 
which is a Pikachu and an Ultra Ball. Wow, this has been fun. Uh, this deck, this could turn either direction. But still, Valley GX, even by itself, with Registeel and Raichu, still taking names. Uh, even if we lose this match right now, I'm happy with the performance of this deck. That's just crazy. Um, so I'm going to let the Turtonator take this one. I'm probably going to lose a main and the two Guzmas. Now what can I hit him for? 70, 90 there? But I don't necessarily, I don't have a metal energy. So let's go ahead and throw a Raichu up there. It has free retreat still. There's a Sycamore. We can throw down another Pikachu. Yeah, I think I'm I'm okay here to lose him in the two Guzmas. And go ahead and hit Psychic for 90 damage. Lele, Wonder Tag 4, a Guzma, oh they only need to take out the, the Pikachu, that was my misplay, Pikachu into the active here, Turtonator, does it get another energy, does get another energy, I gotta say well played, but I'm happy with the way this deck performs, so, honestly my only misplay was throwing down a Pikachu, that's okay with me. But very well, that was a very good defeat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and share that deck list with you guys down in the description. Um, be sure to come back tomorrow for a box opening and let's get excited for that Crimson Invasion. Thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Drabby and I will bid you guys Alola. See you guys on the next video. Bye bye now.